What's up everybody? Coach Brian Klopaka here at CriticalBench.com, certified strength and conditioning specialist, certified in functional movement, also certified triathlon coach. And what I'm sharing with you today is core training that can be done at home, on the road, in the office, or at the park. In other words, you don't need equipment to get this core workout done. But first, what you need to do before you start doing this workout I'm about to share with you is warm up. Five to 10 minutes of some light aerobic activity. It can include some calisthenics, some dynamic stretching, things like that. I'm not gonna show you that right now because you know we have other videos that uh, touch on that topic. Also throw in some foam rolling in there. I love foam rolling as you should know by now. Foam roll out the entire body. So 15 minute warm up, all said and done. Now you're gonna transition into the first series. So this first series is a five minute AMRAP, as many rounds as possible within five minutes. I have three exercises for you. I have a in and out squat jump, I have a push up to shoulder tap, and then third, I have a cross body mountain climber. So you're gonna be doing 10 in and out squat jumps, you're gonna be doing 10 push ups with the shoulder tap, one tap per push up, and then 10 or 20 total mountain climbers crossing the knee under the body. So get a timer ready, you're gonna set your watch or your phone for five minutes, you're gonna hammer out as many rounds as you can of those three exercises. Get ready, here we go, let's have fun. That took me about 45 seconds. You're gonna do that a total of five minutes nonstop as many rounds as possible. After you knock out that five minutes, you're definitely gonna to need to catch your breath, maybe catch a, uh, grab a quick sip of water. And then we're gonna be going into a stability circuit with some strength training in there. So this stability circuit that I just mentioned, three rounds, 10 reps of everything. You're gonna slow things down a little bit because some of these require some uh, stability work, which means you need to slow things down and gain your balance. So these four exercises I'm about to show you, and then you're gonna be doing three sets total on your own. So the first of four of these exercises is gonna be a stationary forward lunge with a torso twist. The second exercise is, is a floor helicopter. The third exercise is a single leg RDL with an overhead reach. The fourth exercise of this stability series is a plank buzzsaw. So again, prescribed for, that I'm recommending to you is three sets, 10 reps, if 10 is too easy, go up a little bit. If 10 is too much, go down to five, or maybe even just do five on uh, each side or five total. Whatever you choose to do, go at your level of comfort. Again, take your time, because this is, this is gonna require a little bit more strength and stability. So again, after these four, we're gonna transition over into the next series.
that takes care of your stability series. Next, we're gonna finish off this home core workout with a combination. And what I mean by that is we're gonna combine strength, power, endurance, stamina, you name it, into this last circuit. And some of it's hold, some of it's dynamic, but the main thing is you're gonna work hard and finish strong. I'm gonna set my clock for 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. I'm gonna be going through four different exercises and you're gonna be going through this a total of two rounds. If you wanna go for a third, have at it, but I'm only gonna show you one round of these four exercises and then you're on your own. So the first exercise is an elbow plank march. march. Front plank, marching those feet up and down. The second plank is just a high plank or a hand plank hold. Second to last is a Russian twist, twisting on the floor side to side, good spine twist in there. And then we're gonna finish off with a V-sit hold to really lock in everything within that midsection. So here we are, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off of these four exercises for that combo finisher. There you have it. That's a great core workout that you can be doing at home that doesn't require anything but your body weight. Now there's something you didn't 
notice within this workout is a crunch or a sit up. And there's a reason for that. It's because those exercises are dangerous. It puts too much strain and stress on your spine that is definitely not good if you really care about your spine health. So incorporate these movements into your workout and you'll be happy you did. Now before you go, there's something I'd love to share with you. It's called the death of crunches and sit ups. It's a free report we made just for you. Click this box, give us your email, and we'll send you a free copy of this report right away. If you're on a mobile device, you can't click this box, but what you can do is click the little arrow under this video here. That's go, gonna open up our video description area. That top link you see, criticalbench.com slash YouTube2, is the link that you need to click to gain access to this awesome report. We appreciate you watching. Now do us a favor, subscribe to our channel, share this video with somebody you know, like us, give us a thumbs up, also, leave us some comments or questions or even just some general feedback. Love to hear what you all have to say about this workout or maybe even having a suggestion for an upcoming video. Whatever it is, we want you to interact with us. Again, thanks for watching. See you soon.